Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy Smokestay here back at you with another video and today we are on Blue Diamond by the man typical Canadian. Now this is the ARL All-Star Nationals race round uh, the second race second moto. I qualified for it the pro AMs um, so it'd be the ARL All-Star Nationals Group B I think it was or however it is but i qualified for it it is a pro ams race and man i was stoked to qualify for it bro so we did this is the second race like i said out of the two and um man bro i did not do the best in the race and i'm not going to play the entire race so this is only going to be the first five minutes of the race and the last five minutes of the race and we're just going to talk about the track like a normal track review but also talk about the race and just how everything played out and how everything went you know what i mean so now overall as far as the track goes this track is absolutely awesome bro typical canadian did an amazing job on it like he always has and it rides amazing now the only part of the track that was like it threw me off real bad at first and that was this triple right after this double so this triple right here if you don't hit that right or you try to hit it on the inside and you don't pop the pop the throttle as you're hitting it you go over the handlebars every time now it's not a big deal you know what i mean we adapted we figured it out but that was the only part of the track that like really gave me troubles you know what i'm saying so in the qualifying i think i qualified 23rd out of 30 30 people or 32 people and it was fire bro i was so stoked to qualify granted you know turbo and gyro were making fun of me because i was 23rd and they were like first and sixth or something but you know i qualified bro i'm so stoked about it you know what i mean and um then the first race hit and in the first race bro i literally was in fourth place and then i got taken out and every time i got back up it was like i'd, I'd start moving i get like 10 feet and get taken out again and then get taken out all the way back to dead last and I ended up grinding my butt off to get from dead last up to like, I think it was, I want to say 21st or no, 19th, something like that. But wasn't the greatest race. You know what I mean? I was fuming after that race, bro, because I just kept getting crashed. You know what I mean? Then we come back. We're in the second race and we, we got a pretty good start and we were doing pretty good. And then we had a couple of uh, crashes that could have been prevented. They were our fault. Um, but then we also had some incidents where we got taken out again. Now, I think in future races, I'm going to go in and change my name. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if that had to, anything to do with it, but it felt like it had everything to do with it. Because I was just getting targeted, it felt like. But it is what it is, man. Overall, the track is amazing. And... You guys should definitely go pick it up. It, it definitely has some very good racing to it, man. Absolutely love this track. I really did. So typical Canadian, keep up the good work, bro. You have done amazing. And yeah, but it's, it's, it's fire. It really is. So now I think the hardest part about the track besides that triple is just the, there's certain corners that are really tight certain corners that aren't as tight you know what i mean so you gotta kind of get to know the track look right there we get taken out again we gotta kind of get to know the track in order to really get to moving on it you know what i mean i think my qualifying time was like a minute 43 and that was sixth in my server overall 23 but man bro it's wild it was just wild that we qualified and it was fire bro i had a blast um i won't be able to try to participate next week because i work but maybe in the coming future if i'm off a day i can definitely go and try to qualify for this again i had a blast and i really want to so um yeah i think typical canadian with these tracks that he's been doing for these bro has absolutely nailed it just out of the park on all of them he really has man and um it's I, like I, I like i've been saying in all of these videos it really adds a whole nother layer to 
you know, the track in general when it's part of a series. You know what I'm saying? Like when when it's not just a single track being released and it's like a part of something like a, a group of or a set of tracks, you know, that really makes the track just that much better in my opinion. You know what I mean? Because they all I don't know how to I don't know how exactly how to get it across, but he just put a lot of thought into these tracks. You know what I mean? And when you're putting that much thought into them, they just come out really good. So we're on the second half of the race right now. And on this half of the race, as you can see, Wheeler coming through, cleaning us, bro. That absolutely made me so mad, bro. I was so, so mad right there. Because I was like, man, at that point, at that point, I had just gotten into the top 10. And then as we're in the top 10, as we're, you know, I felt like we were doing decent. Like I felt good about it. And the dude just comes through and cleans us, man. And then I think it's like the next lap, Jesse, the average comes through and cleans us, but his is different because, well, he told me like I disappeared and then reappeared. And when I reappeared, I was where he was going. <sighs> Excuse me. It's like four o'clock in the morning right now. I've been up all night streaming, but I got to stay awake because I'm switching back to night shift. <laughs> but yeah, man, I had an absolute blast doing this race, but I was also very mad half of the race because I don't like getting crashed. Like when I go to pass somebody, I take my time in passing them for the most part, you know, um, and when I get crashed after I take my time to pass you and I wait for my opportunity and I take it and then just for you to come through and crash me to take me out is just like man a slap in the face you know what I'm saying like at that point why am I trying so hard not to crash you you know but I ain't trying to be that guy that just crashes everybody so it was wild though it was wild it was an absolute blast and um I think that's like the fourth time I've said it I just I was super stoked that I qualified. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe I qualified for a pro AMs race. Like I'm getting better. You know what I mean? So, and I think it's coming through in my videos too. I think my, my writing has gotten better to the point where people are noticing. So hopefully we keep that up, man, for real. Cause, um, I'd like to qualify for an ARL like outdoors race this season sometime, man. I have, there's Jesse, the average cleaning me. Um, but I, I have not been able to yet, you know, so we'll, we'll keep working on it. And this coming Friday, I won't be able to try to qualify. I think it's Southwick. Um, so it'll have to be the week after that when we try to qualify for outdoors again, but we are going to do it and we ain't giving up, man. We are not giving up. We can't give up because I really, really want to do that. Like I want to get that on video. And I really want to just try to qualify, man. But some of these people are just so fast, you know, like, like my guy turbo, like, I don't know how you guys just run lap times that are that insane. You know, it's wild. Look, turbo's in the lead in this race. Ah, I can't quit yawning. Um, Turbo's in the lead in this race, and he ended up winning the second race. He got second in the first race, so I think he finished overall first. Um, and Gyro, who we were with, he finished first in the first race, and then last in the second race. So, but like I said, man, this is Blue Diamond. It's definitely worth you going and checking out, especially if you want some like really good racing, bro. It really offers a very good style of racing and i think if it wasn't for all the people that were crashing at me it would have been even better but you know at the end of the day it is what it is and we ended up catching back up to jesse right here but then we made a mistake and uh give it back to him so yeah you know it is what it is but we ended up finishing i believe 12th yeah we finished 12th this race and uh 16th overall which, you know, we're better than 50% of the field if I'm following my man Turbo's uh, rationale. You know what I'm saying? We're better than 50% of the field. So, at the end of the day, it's a victory in my book. We qualified for a Pro AMs. We finished in the top 10, 
or top 12 i'm fine with that it's it, it is what it is so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time man peace